Hi guys, it's Miss Judy. I'm here with our family tree for KFOT week one, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus and his friends would have known the Old Testament. They would have known the people and places and stories and celebrations that we're learning about now. So last week, we started learning about Joseph. Joseph was the great grandson of Abraham. He was the son of Jacob, who also had the name Israel. So our story last week, we learned about how Joseph had lots of brothers, and when he got a special coat as a gift from his father, they were very jealous. And when Joseph had dreams that they would one day bow down to him, they were very angry. And they ended up selling Joseph to be a slave. So we pick up our story today about Joseph. And our story starts out with some bad news. So Joseph becomes a slave in Egypt and he gets purchased by a man named Potiphar. And that's bad news. But then there's some good news because Potiphar really likes Joseph and he sees that Joseph is really smart and he lets Joseph be in charge of everything in, at his house, in his household. And so that's good news. Then there's some bad news. Potiphar's wife tells a lie about Joseph and says that he did something terrible. And after this lie, Potiphar has Joseph thrown into prison. And that's bad news. But then there's some good news. While Joseph is in prison, another prisoner who works for the king, the pharaoh, has a dream and Joseph is able to tell him what his dream means. And the man who had the dream promises that when he's let out of prison, that he will work at having Joseph freed from prison. So that's good news. But then there's some bad news. The man who was released from prison and was supposed to help get Joseph released from prison, he forgets all about Joseph. And that's bad news. But then there's some good news. Two years later, the Pharaoh, the king, has a dream that no one can tell him what it means. He has two dreams and he can't, no one can tell him what those dreams mean. But the man who was released from prison, he suddenly remembers Joseph and how Joseph was able to tell him what his own dream meant. So he tells the king, he tells Pharaoh, I know someone who can tell you what your dream means. And Pharaoh has Joseph released from prison so that he can come and tell him what his dream means. But then there's some bad news. Joseph is able to tell the Pharaoh, the king, what his dreams mean, but his dreams mean that there will be seven years of good harvests, lots of food, followed by seven years of bad harvest and no food, that there would be a famine, not enough to eat in the land of Egypt. So that's bad news. But then there's some good news. The king is impressed with Joseph and grateful that Joseph could tell him what his dreams meant. And he puts Joseph in charge of everything so that Joseph can collect food and grain during the good years and be ready for the years of famine. And that's 
good news for Joseph. So we're going to stop with Joseph's story and we'll hear the rest next week. So now, like we've been doing, someone from our church family has something to share with you. So take a look at this. Hi, this is Miss Kathy and Miss Laura is our camera person. And today we're gonna to show you a tour of all the moose that are in our house. I love moose because it reminds me of the mountains and the north woods with the big old trees. And they're very secretive and it's they're hard to find, but we're gonna find a few around our house. So let's go. Our first moose is right when we walk in the door. So welcome. In the woods, in the big north woods, there's an outline of a moose. Going right inside our door, we have a moose that holds the dog's leashes. Now this is Dooney, and we have a dog. He's not a moose. Uh, let's come in a little further. Now we don't have a good light here, but in our foyer, here is our moose. And we even have a placemat that has colorful mooses on it but it's not very light in here so we have to go for somewhere else let's go to the kitchen let's go to the kitchen our first moose in the kitchen is the <coughs> cookie cutter it's the cookie cutter so the cookie cutter moose and then down here on our hand towel one is a hand towel moose and over here, in this other hand towel, a couple more mooses. Over, over here, this is not a moose. It's an elk. But it looks like but a moose. But it looks like a moose. Another moose we have is our wind chime moose. Out in the kitchen patio door. Up in the corner, well, that's not a moose, that's a reindeer. It likes to stay up all year. Here's, here's Jax. Also not a moose. He's not a moose. In and out, in and out. Bye-bye. All right, now we're going to go to another part of the house. Oh, there's St. Barnabas on the piano. Hi, St. Barnabas. And in our living room, we have coasters that have moose on them. Hi, coaster. And now we'll go back. So now we're going back to the music studio and there's a sign that says no dogs allowed. I don't know, we might find some moose though. Let's see. What up in the powder room we've got a special moose that helps and then we have a little moose decoration from Buffalo Minnesota and here's one of my mooses that lives in the music studio and just for fun here's the moon shine and up there we have our moose, and then here we're going to go outside. There's one more moose near the music studio. And I thought these were pretty neat. Little moose lantern. And now we're going to go to find, we're going to go to find the biggest moose. What might be in our garage? It's the Christmas moose, one of our favorites. Thanks for going on the moose tour. Hope you enjoyed it.
Isn't it nice to see some of our church family? Thank you to Miss Kathy for giving us that special moose tour through her house. And thank you to Miss Laura for doing the recording for that. It's nice to see some of our church family. And I want you to remember that you are an important part of our church family. Before we go, in the description of this video, you'll find a link to an animation about this part of the story of Joseph. And also in the comments, either here on YouTube or over on Facebook, I have a question for everyone. What is your favorite animal? I have a favorite animal and I'll share in the comments so you can see what my favorite animal is. So don't forget the link if you want to watch the animation and don't forget to answer the question, what is your favorite animal? Take care guys.